In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a healthy food slide in PowerPoint. And you can see here, I have just added a kind of a call out. And when I click, all the fruits start appearing in from the background. And again, the next click, it will show you the first title, then the second title, third title, and a fourth title. And in the background of the slide also, I've just added some uh, images of the fruits so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select oval shape just click it here it will create oval shape of 1.1 inch or 1 inch both and hold the shift key and increase the size as per your requirement maybe this much size and then align center, align middle, shape outline, make it no outline. Then go to insert again, shapes. I'm going to select a triangle, draw a triangle. Again, shape outline, make it no outline. And using the circular arrow, rotate it and put it something here. And then select both of the shapes, select the oval shape and the triangle, go to format, merge shape and say union. So you have got one shape now. Now I'm going to insert all the fruits icon for that go to insert icons. And you need an active internet connection for this. Just go down and see for this one you can see here all the fruits and junk food is there so let me just add all the fruits here and is there anything left no that is pizza and just say insert and you have got the shapes i'm just going to bring the shapes this side and then just add one by one and change the color. For example, this one I'm going to put maybe green. This one, a melon, I'm going to make it red. This I'm going to make it maybe an orange or this color. Let me just make it orange. And again, this can be a green. This also will be a green and these cherries will be red and then i'm just going to add or uh, place it one by one increase the size and send this to back and press ctrl d add in different places and just rotate it sorry send to back and then increase the size here for this and rotate it this also send to back control d i'm just going to add somewhere here also send to back or you can do it one by one and send to back so i'm just increasing the size I'm just going to put one more here. So wherever possible, put it and make sure that the circle is encircled with all the fruits, whatever the available one. And if you want, you can make it a smaller one also. So add this and make it a smaller also here. And you can just add one here. Control D, reduce the size. And add one more here. So likewise, we just need to and select this one, go to format and just say bring to front. So it's all gone backside. So I'm just going to select this. Press Control D to duplicate it. Control D and 
I'm going to just keep it aside for a meantime then I'm going to just select this right mouse click go to format shape and you can select a gradient fill for this you can make it two stops delete the two stops make it a gray color and this will be a somewhat light gray color here and this I'm going to fill this with white color and send this to back something like this and the gray one I'm going to give some shadow effect and increase the distance and you can increase somewhat blur size also now I'm just going to give the animation to all this uh, particular uh, fruits so I'm just going to select Control A selected all and I'm not going to select the circle so I've just selected only the fruits close the format go to animations enable the animation pane add animation go to more entrance effect and say spinner and click ok so you can see here if you want you can just randomly select and increase the delay percentage here and if I play it will look something like this you can see here if I play again it comes something like this and then you can just add the text here and then you can add the text here for that if you want you can insert the icons also so let me just put the text one zero one and make it bold I'm going to change the font to century gothic increase the size give some different color so this one will be zero one and then add your text and just put your text headings here select both of these press ctrl d to delete sorry to duplicate this will be two here you can put it three and four and i'll just bring this this side and move and align properly then change the text to 2 this will be let me just make it 3 here and this will be 4 and then if you want you can just give the animation to this also let me just group this one by one and you can give some simple animation effect to this Control G and I'm going to give the animation which is animations add animation go to more intense effect and stretch and this one should be from left and using the animation painter I'm going to click this then again animation painter for the third and this one should be from right and fourth so if you see here this is how it will work that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye